Hi, this is Mike Thomas, President of Managing Energy Incorporated. During my 25 years in the energy management business, I've seen a lot of confusion and conflict over the way energy efficiency is measured and reported. Much of that could have been avoided if the people involved had shared a common understanding of energy analysis methods. This video is part one in a series introducing the science of energy analysis in buildings. The goal of the series is to explain basic concepts. Energy analysis is a technical specialty that can become quite complex and confusing. These videos provide the average building owner with an understanding of the fundamentals and enough background to deal effectively with energy professionals. The series should be viewed in order as each video builds on the concepts from earlier videos. In part one, we will be looking at utility load profiles. Energy use changes through the year influenced by many factors. This graphic shows electricity consumption at a meter as it varies up and down from January through to December. An energy analyst would look at this shape and draw a number of conclusions. First, some electricity is used in every month no matter what the weather. This is called the base load or the non-weather sensitive load. Next, we can see that there is more consumed during the winter. The colder the month, the more electricity is used. That weather sensitive consumption is called the heating load. The same thing can be seen in the summer during very warm weather. This is the weather sensitive cooling load. Putting it all together, we can reasonably conclude that this meter serves some year round equipment, maybe lighting and computers, and we also know that the meter serves some electric heat and some cooling equipment. The shape of the annual load profile depends on what equipment loads are connected. This meter serves some base load equipment in addition to heating and cooling systems. A building without cooling equipment would be heating sensitive but would show no summer peak at all. This profile is common for natural gas meters serving space heating and domestic hot water. Without the domestic hot water there would be no base load so no summer consumption at all. Next, we can see what a cooling sensitive meter looks like. There is no space heating equipment connected. This is typical of an electric meter in a year-round building where space heating is provided by another fuel source. We've come to the end of the first video in the series. Thank you for watching. Please join me for part two, building a baseline model.